Before I wanted to really give this project a crack, I was like, I was always being pro e-bike from the, from the gun. Now that I've ridden one, it's like, it just brings the fun back. The whole goal of it was to try and get more descending time in and less pedaling. The final picture, I wanted it to replicate my race bike as much as possible. So we've got 160, 140 mils of travel, which is a little bit smaller than my 180, 160 mil. But the length, uh, the size, the top tube, the reach, the geometry of it is pretty similar. I think the extra weight of the e-bike is definitely helping my riding on my normal bike. You know, my normal rain in race setup weighs about 15 kilos with big tires, big suspension. It's got a 184 coil shock. But this thing weighs about 10 kilos more. And when I get when I get back onto my rain after riding this, it makes it feel so light and nimble and you can just slap it into turns and it dances underneath you through rough sections and stuff like that. You now you get to go twice as fast up climbs and twice as fast through stuff with all this extra weight. So when you get back on your normal race bike, your mind is used to going that little bit quicker. You just feel like a superhero. So on one of the little training zones that I train on here in Wollongong, it's about a 15 to 20 minute climb back up the hill. Pretty, pretty solid. Like I'm usually in granny gear or a couple of gears down. Uh, usually in like an hour and a half, two hours, I'll do maybe six laps, maybe five, six laps. That's a pretty solid day on my rain. This bike, I can easily bust out eight to 10, sometimes 12, um, but just get way more downhill time in. It's a way less effort. So I'll pedal back up the hill at 100 beats a minute. Easy, so I'm not sweaty. Pretty much roll straight in, because I'm already rested and recovered. Do the exact same downhill, just as aggressive, if not harder, because the bike's heavier, it's hard to slow down. And get to the bottom, put the power on full gas, just burn straight back up the hill in like seven minutes, eight minutes straight back into the top and do it again. So I'm not getting the fatigue from climbing up the hill, I'm getting the fatigue from descending so much and doing so many downhill runs. So for me, that, that training is, is ideal. It's a training tool for an EWS rider, an enduro rider, that uh, eventually will become probably more beneficial than a road bike, you know? I think so. Hopefully they don't work that out sooner rather than later. <laughs> With a bit of luck, I can just keep it to myself for a little while. <laughs>